this is your teacher praise do if you are new to the channel just subscribe and click on the notification bell so that any content that we upload you can get access to it we have done identity elements some days back and we look to various identity elements in addition and multiplication i told you that identity element in simple terms i will say is a living ghost or a living dead number any number when you take it and operate it with another number when you operate it upon you get the same number is an identity element and we said zero is an identity element under addition as well as one is the identity element under multiplication because whenever you add one uh, you multiply any number by one you get that same number as well as adding zero to any number you still get the same number so that makes zero an identity element under addition as well as one as an identity element under multiplication today we are moving a step further in binary operations in binary operations and we are looking at various ways of calculating an identity element in a binary operation so we say the operation this is the operation like that stairish. the operation is defined over a set r of real numbers by a operation b equal to a plus b plus a b and you are being told to find the identity element under the operation under this operation so in this case a operation b plus a b we are to find the identity element so we say in finding the identity element let the sign e equal to what r which is real numbers so e as or e is equal to real numbers where e is the identity element this e is the identity element or this is the sign for identity element so we say e operation a is the same as what a operation e because you know that we say addition is commutative or what we mean when we say is commutative i think i've taught you the commutative aspect too it means when we add it from the left side the result we get the same is when we add it from the right side and that is commutative very good so e operation a is the same as a operation e and so therefore e operation a e operation a is the same as sorry so e operation a is the same as a operation e and the result is a so this means when we take e operation a we get a as well as taking a operation e we still have to get a because we are after identity element meaning when we add a number to a the result is a when we add a or when we operate the number and a we still get a making this as the sign of the identity element do you get it so that is it so in this case we look at the at the question there and we see if we are to find the identity element under that operation we say a b plus a b so in this case let's take the b as our e and so therefore we will have a operation e this one let's represent here by the e so a operation e is equal to a plus e plus what a e and the result is a because we are after the identity element so it means when we operate it the result we are going to get is a as the identity element and in this case it's very simple 
what are we supposed to do? Look at it very carefully. Then tell us, we want the identity element, this E alone. We want this one. And so therefore, what are we supposed to do? We have to take the A to a different side so that we can get access to this one. Okay, so we will have uh, E plus A E equal to this A minus this A. We are crossing. Do you get it? Because we are after the E. And so let's take this one to the other side. And so therefore, we will have our E plus A E equal to A minus Z. A is zero. I hope you are following. We want the identity element, this number. So we have to take this one to cross the equal sign. And when a positive number crosses the equal sign, a uh, positive variable crosses an equal sign, it changes to negative. Just like when negative number also crosses the equal sign, it changes to positive. So it crossed and we have it in this form. So E plus A E equal to A minus A. And E plus A E equal to zero. We are still after the E. So we have to deal away with this one. We have to take this one out. So how are we going to get it? But remember that here is A, E, they are attached. And we want E, we don't want A, but E is also attached to this. So in this case, what we can do, so we have a, uh, E plus A E equal to zero. Let's rewrite it, then let's continue. So we have our E plus A E equal to zero. This one is what I've rewritten. So in this case, we are still after the E and not A E. And so therefore, our next step is what? Let's factorize. So we have E we factor E out, so here is left only one. So one plus E, this E is out, equal to zero. In this case, we are after the E, so what are we supposed to do? Since it is multiplying, so it will divide. When it crosses the equal sign, it will divide. And so therefore, we have our E, one plus E, equal to zero, here, because we want E to stand alone, we will take it to cross the equal sign and therefore it will cancel out and our E will be equal to zero over one plus E. And any number that the numerator, whenever the numerator is zero over any denominator, we take it as zero. So therefore, our uh, identity element T is equal to zero. So have you seen? Meaning, whenever we operate the identity element on the number in the given operation, as in A plus B plus AB, our uh, identity element is zero. Because we are in addition. Don't forget that I said in addition, zero added to any number the result is the same number and so therefore when we operate it we get this that is it if you have any question write it under the comment section or if you have any commendation or whatever write it under the comment section and we shall respond to it thank you